Hello fellow miners and DIY enthusiasts. I thought I'd give you a little preview here of what I'm working on and planning to do to try to cool my mining rigs that most people don't have an opportunity to try. So this is a hundred plus year old farmhouse and if you know anything about those most of them at one time had cisterns. Um, and if you don't know what a cistern is, a cistern is a big tank buried outside in the ground that generally collected rainwater off the roof of the house. So I have one that's probably roughly 12 by 12 outside, if I could get it to focus. Sorry about that. That's what that concrete, concrete thing out there it is, sticking up out of the ground. Um, it's got water in it. Um, I don't run the gutters into it anymore because we don't take water out of it. It would just fill up and probably isn't sealed properly and leak back towards the house and cause water in my house, which this is just from me playing, not leaking from outside. Um, so since I have this cistern and it's buried in the ground and the ground temp is around 50 to 60 degrees here year round, I thought, well, maybe I'll try to use it to cool my rigs. So last year I tested out this cistern just to see if the pipe was still good and it actually worked. I had a diaphragm pump hooked up to it which is self-priming but not continuous run. Um, doesn't have a heat, very long duty cycle before it'll overheat and burn out. But that was hooked up to this one inch PEX going up uh, and going out to an outside hydrant um, to water the lawn and the garden. And it worked quite well. So I thought, hmm, radiator, heat exchanger, and some more one inch PEX pipe going over to my server room. And we'll see what happens. So I haven't done any of the BTU calculations to know and even try to figure out if this. A is cool enough water, what happens when I recirculate the water back in and it warms up? Do I have enough with the ground temperature to keep it cool over a long period of time and all that stuff? This is just an experiment that cost me roughly 160 bucks for that 20 by 20 inch radiator which fits real nice on a 20 inch box fan and a pump that was uh, 50 or 60 dollars that is meant to be a continuous run super quiet multi-speed at its lowest setting uses 45 watts and at its highest 100 uh, for like in-floor radiant heat and all that and then I have a 40 micron sediment filter uh, but the cistern itself has a old-timers filter on it I guess which is a bunch of limestone rock that is grouted together in a pyramid in the center that the water sucks out of. Um, so it does some filtration, but not enough. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a little rusty because that was the old filter. So I'm going to attempt this, and when it's all together and running, um, I'll let you know and see how it works. I'm basically going to dump it out of the radiator in the other room to a... Uh, this guy on the outside of the house that has a check valve in it so the water can only run one way. So the water can only flow one direction and then that'll go to a hose which I'm just going to dump back into the tile that is the return line into the cistern. So fingers crossed, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to cool my room a little bit. It's been fine in the winter with what I'm running because as you can see leaky old basement single pane windows. It's been able to keep it pretty cool. So, next time.